Well, how about it, y'all? This is Daniel Nicholson with Nicholson Farms, and welcome back to another video. Today is butchering day here at the farm. Uh, we actually dispatched and cleaned and quartered and put the pigs on ice last night. Uh, so we're just going to be working them up today. Got a little bit of a head start. Uh, these are the two biggest pigs we've ever done. One of them weighed 370. I think the other one weighed 350. In a total, we've got about 425 pounds of hanging weight to work up today. So we got a lot of work ahead of us. Uh, looking forward to it. Today is a day that I look forward to every year. Uh, but it's a lot of stress leading up to this day. We've got to make sure we have all our seasoning, all our packaging material uh, lining up where, you know, we're going to have some help uh, to help us out because we cannot do this by ourselves. Uh, so friends and family is going to be coming to help us out. And it kind of combines two things that I'm, I'm pretty passionate about. Uh, one of which is uh, raising our own meat. You know, I bought these pigs when they were about 50 pounds a piece. Now, you know, I grew them all the way out to about 350. And so, you know, having that whole process, uh, you know, processing them here and putting them in our freezer, I take a lot of pride in that. Uh, that's going to go to feed myself, Maddie, my parents, my brother, and friends and family throughout the whole year, hopefully. Uh, so something I take a lot of pride in. The other thing is having friends and family over to help us out. Uh, we could not do this without them. I'm kind of an introvert person. I have a real close group of friends, and I don't venture out too far from that, but I truly enjoy having them to come over. Uh, we're laughing and cutting up all day long uh, while we're doing this. At the end of the day, they're going to go home with some meat, uh, whatever they want. That's how I pay um, my help, I guess. Uh, I send them home pork sausage and a couple other cuts. And so, you know, just the whole process, we just truly enjoy. And, and that's kind of what motivates me to do what I do. Uh, putting meat, in, I mean, putting food in the freezer, uh, number one, but also sharing this everything that I'm doing with everybody else, whether it be friends or family. Uh, so a lot of, a couple people couldn't make it today. So we're going to be a little bit shorthanded. Uh, we've got a lot of work to do. Uh, so today I was thinking about doing something a little bit different on the video for the past two years. We've done, you know, how we're doing things, you know, what, what we're doing step by step today. We're going to switch it up a little bit since we're a little shorthanded and going to be pretty busy. I'm just going to try to capture today for it for what it is. And that's just fellowship, having a good time, and putting meat in the freezer. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit different. I uh, hope you enjoy the video. I'm here about an hour early uh, from what I told everybody to get here. So I'm about to sharpen some knives, wash some pots, wash the tables, and just get ready for a day of hopefully good fellowship and, and good meat. So hope you enjoy. <laughs> Of course, we've got to watch Bearded Butcher know what we're doing. Mr. Russell, we grab one more pan. I wrote the chops. Yep, just put some in there. Well, 
talking about the thing. That's pork chops? Oh, yeah. These are pork chops. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now we have okay, to another I didn't know if it was going to That's the long one. That's the long one. Yeah, that's the long one. Put it in the box. Is this a eight fluid, like, is this eight, like, eight fluid ounces? Or is it, like, a gram ounce? Gram. Let's see if it's eight ounces. Why are you not wearing gloves? Well, it's a couple afternoons later. We got finished up about six o'clock the other afternoon after we got done processing all the meat. Uh, so I never really got a chance to end the video. We were sitting around talking and it slipped by me. Uh, but we got everything done in about 10 hours. Uh, took a little while being a little shorthanded this year, uh, but we enjoyed ourselves, sat around and talked all day and uh, put some meat in the freezer. Uh, I mentioned earlier in this video that we were just gonna kind of enjoy the day and kind of capture it here on camera. Uh, that's why I didn't really talk too much in the video. We we're just focused on cutting up the meat and enjoying each other's company. But I'll show you what we've got all in the freezer. It's kind of clustered up everywhere uh, between these two freezers and a freezer I actually purchased the other afternoon. Uh, so we'll open up the freezers real quick and, and show you all the meat and tell you how many pounds we got. So I really didn't keep up with all the weights. I did keep a tally mark of what all we had uh, so we can divide it up. Uh, but for chops, we had 28 packs of chops. Uh, that's four per pack. We cut them about three quarter to an inch thick. Uh, four loins, some bacon that we're going to be curing here in a couple weeks. Uh, our ribs. Uh, we did some balsam butts and picnic roast. Uh, we did 126 pounds of pork sausage. The last 40 pounds we divided in half and mixed um, maple, that maple seasoning in one, hot in the other, and the rest we just did regular. Uh, we did about 50 pounds of stuffed sausage, and then the rest of it was in our bags. Uh, so all together, we got a good bit of meat. Let's take a look at it soon, these freezers. So this one has got a bunch of chicken in it, but we also have a lot of cube pork. I didn't, mention, I didn't have that written down, I guess. Uh, but a lot of cube pork, uh, that's chicken, uh, sausage down here, 
Uh, some of our hot sausage in the bag. Uh, let's see. This one is mainly beef, but we got some pork in here. This freezer, for some reason, the stuff on the top right won't freeze, but the stuff below it will stay solid. This door is pretty much filled up with all with sausage, bottom some shrimp, and then the freezer outside is slap full of pork. Picked up this freezer off of Facebook Marketplace the other day. Been running pretty good, but we got all our loose sausage, some stuffed sausage, some ribs. This box is full of pork chops. Uh, we got our cuts of bacon down there and some ribs and then some pork belly. I think we got pork belly, uh, balsam butts, picnic roast. So this should be enough pork to split between our family for the rest of the year. Uh, super excited about having pork in the in the freezer again. Our freezer went out last summer and we lost all our butchering last year. Uh, called it too late. So excited to have some fresh pork that we grew back in the freezer. And uh, Saturday was one of the best Saturdays I've had in a while. I really enjoyed having friends and family over, uh, putting what I've grown into the freezer uh, for many, many people to enjoy. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I know we really, really didn't talk too much, um, but like I said, I was just trying to enjoy the day. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, leave us a comment, and we'll see you all in the next one.